Yo, what's up? This is Dizzy of the Supernaturals crew. Welcome back to another episode of the Dizzy Diaries B-Boy vlog. Today, I want to make a very important vlog about why the label of sports on breaking really freaking matters. I'm Dizzy, a 12-time world, world champion, a pioneer, a global B-Boy activist, and you're watching the Dizzy Diaries B-Boy vlog! Now, I just, I just recently made a Facebook post and it got so much attention, so many people commenting, it's caused a lot of controversy. Let me read that to you right now. The first post I wrote, So, with breaking now officially added to the Youth Olympics, endorsed by many high-level b-boys and b-girls, like Crazy Legs, Storm, Moy, Munir, AT, and Narumi, is it safe to say that breaking is more than a dance, art form, and culture? Can we now say that it is also a sport? Now this got a lot of comments. You can go check out my personal Facebook wall and see all the comments talking about it. And then I post a second one and I put a poll. Now the poll only allowed me to give two answers on Facebook. Now 27% said breaking is only a dance, while 73% said breaking is also a sport. Okay, there are 166 votes. I don't know who everyone is. Uh, that wrote it, but anyways, why this matters is because first time I, I posted online mentioning the possibility that breaking could also be considered a sport, everybody back in 2008, 98% of the people were like, no, it cannot. It's only a dance, it's a culture, it's an art form, but it is not a sport. And you know, and I was like really intrigued. I was like, why not? Why couldn't it also be considered a sport? If you actually look up the definition of the dictionary, professional b boy battles actually fits that description. Now I know that if I just call somebody out in a club, you know, I give him the, in his mouth, no homo, and you know, and I call him whack, and I stick my middle finger up, that's not a sport. That's like a street fight. You know, there's street fights, people beating each other up on the street. You know, there's bar fights, 10 guys on one. That's not a sport. That is just life. But when you take certain people who do fight, and you put them in a professional atmosphere, in a ring, with judges and referees and rules and it's a fair fight. Now that is now being marketed as a sport. So I don't see why not breaking can't be doing the same exact thing. The reason why all this matters, somebody came on my post and started saying, the reason why I'm doing this is because just attention, like why am I even asking this and trying to cause up this disturbance and whatever. I just want to explain why. Now the main issue of b-boy culture is that b-boys and b-girls are primarily broke okay and that's the, that's the main issue that we want to fix the, the main root of everything that i do every goal and everything is to solve that one problem of b-boys being poor and not being able to live off what they love to do which is which is battle so this leads me to the answer why the label of sports on breaking really freaking matters and, and the reason is is because the label of sports has a prestige to it all over the world okay there is a lot of money in sports. Governments, businessmen, investors put so much money into sports, way surpassing art, surpassing culture, and especially surpassing dance. Now imagine this. Imagine there's some rich guy that has money, and he's like, who wants free money? Who wants free money? We're giving out free money to athletes and sports. This money's for sports. And b-boys be like, no, we're not a sport, we don't want it, no, no, don't give me some money. Come on! I'm gonna tell you a little story that I haven't told a lot of people. A few years ago, I went to R16 Central Asia in Kazakhstan. The government that was funding it was taking it from the sports budget. And they were putting a lot of money into this event, it was huge. The turnout was great, the battles were awesome. After the awards and everything were given out, B-Boy Robin, MZK, top nine, he took the mic and wanted to have a few words, which is cool and it's dope. And he said something, and he, and he was up there, and he was saying, I just want everyone to know that breaking is not a sport. It's a culture, it's an art form, and it's a dance. It is not a sport. And he did not know what he was doing at this moment, and I don't blame him at all, because he did not do it with an ill intent. But I remember going, oh my god, no! No! <laughs> I remember going up to the government official, I tried to explain what he means that breaking, it's like a culture and a dance and art form, but professional battles, like, you know, they can be a sport. And he was like, I don't know, he, he's saying that it's not a sport. I don't know. And I was like, no! 
And yeah, that was the last time that they funded that event. Now, I don't want this same kind of thing to happen again. And I think that the whole scene needs to come to a consensus and say, which part of breaking can be considered a sport? I'm willing to concede and say this, breaking is a dance, okay? B-boying is a culture, but battling, organized battling or judged battling is a sport. If we can at least agree on that one aspect, yo, we can sell this to every sport budget around the world and get B-boys and B-girls the proper respect that they deserve, which is to get paid. So the question is, why are we so scared of the word sport? Now, I totally understand where certain people are coming from because I too share the same fears. We do not want breaking to only be labeled as a sport. We do not want that, right? We do not want to lose the fact that it is, it is a dance, the fact that it is a culture and an art form. We don't want to lose these things. And of course, that's the reason why I've done everything I can to preserve the core values of the dance, meaning what is foundation? What are the traditions of the dance? What is originality? And like, you know, like all those aspects, all the important aspects, what is ciphering? What is the culture aspect of it? The people who are in charge of breaking, presenting it to the audience, need to find the solutions to make sure that these, these important values are at the forefront, like the tradition, the creativity, but at the same time, showing that it's a sport. Like I swear, b-boys are so scared of the word sports. It's almost like two guys about to fight, like, yo, you wanna fight? Yeah, let's fight, come on. Oh yeah, well, sports. <laughs> Seriously, we have to stop being afraid of the word sport, okay? Of course, let's protect our dance, let's protect our art form, our culture, all that stuff. Let's, let's protect that to the day we die, okay? But now, time to open up an additional part that can change the lives of B the future b-boys and b-girls forever by drawing in the money and funding from the outside world through the label of sports. My advice to all you b-boys and community organizers out there, yo, use the fact that Breaking went to the Youth Olympics to get grants, funding, sponsors, and investors. Okay, seriously, just mention it. Anytime you're sitting at a meeting and you're talking to somebody, like a potential sponsor or a, a grant officer, just say, hey, did you know that Breaking just debuted in the Youth Olympics? And just show, show some videos, take your phone, go look. Yo, you'll see the way that their eyes will be like, oh, wow, this is a legitimate art form. This is a legit, this is a legit thing, wow. Much respect, take some money. Now, this has already worked for us too because as you know, I've been working on the plan. The whole thing about the plan is to teach b-boys a way that you can make a huge financial living just by doing what you love to do, which is battling and being your own organizer, being your own businessman. And the number one thing that we do is use the fact that breaking the Youth Olympics and it's been, we've already reaped the rewards from this already. And my suggestion is that you do the same. So my question is to everybody else out there, take in, into the account that the label of sports can change the lives of b-boys and b-girls and get all of us paid, bring more funding and more investors and more money into our entire culture. Taking all that stuff into account, does the label of sports really matter to you that much that you're willing to keep the b-boys and b-girls poor? I'm Dizzy of the Supernatural's crew. Hope you're gonna think about it. Please spread the word. Share this with everybody you know. That's all come together as a community and get on the same page. I just want to say too also that, uh, yo, it's tough to continue making all these vlogs. I do it because I, I use it as my platform to share with the right people the information that I know. And if you want to support me, even if it's a dollar, a dollar a month, please click on my Patreon support so I can keep bringing to you the knowledge and the information of the b-boy culture. Thank you everybody for watching and I'm Dizzy, I'm out. Peace.